all my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about makeup that I don't regret not buying. I have already done makeup I regret buying, makeup I don't regret buying and today I, I thought let's kind of spruce it up and add on to that series with this video, makeup I do not regret not buying. It's kind of a tongue twister there. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup, and being creative. Let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means I'm green. I am a light to light, medium, warm-ish olive. And the relatively vintage means I am either 46, still, or 47. It kind of depends on when the video goes up. I'm pre-filming. What can I say? I also have ADHD and I'm autistic, so I am, I don't know, a very special package. Let's just say that. So the makeup I am going to mention today are all eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to lie because what my channel is kind of geared towards is mostly eyeshadow palette reviews. It's what I enjoy most, it's what you guys most enjoy watching. And so that's what I'm going to talk about. So let me go to the side. Oh, let me first tell you what I have on my eyes. The look I did was a collab video with my dear friend Debbie. Her channel name is Debutan. I will link it down below. Uh, we actually... Pulled our favorite shadow from all the Nomad palettes that we have. I have 16. So it was a challenge. But I really do like how the look came out. So yeah, I will link the video underneath the cards for you as well. Let's start with a new release. Which is from Sugar Pill and Trixie Mattel. The Oh Honey. Now when I mentioned this in the new makeup releases. I was like, I, I, I actually really need to get my hands on this collection. Because honey, you see, you see the tattoo. I love bees. I love critters. And I was like, I think that the color story looks very cute as well. Um... I actually ended up not getting it because looking at the collection again, kind of without the whole honey aesthetic, I was like, hmm, I don't know. And then I saw Betty Jean uh, use this collection and I will link her channel down below as well. And it wasn't that it wasn't pretty or that it wasn't a good quality. But when I saw her basically use the shadows and swatch them, I was like... The only thing I really actually liked about this collection was the fact that it was honey based. So I'm very, very happy that I didn't pick it up. Um, I love how it looks. I love the aesthetic. But at the end of the day, the color story. Yeah. No. So there is that. Next, I'm going to go to BH Cosmetics. And you see here the travel series quads when these launched they were only available for the usa and i really really wanted to try some and then i kind of heard people mentioning you know reviewing them and all that and then i was like i'm actually glad that i'm not able to buy it because it sounds like it's not really something that i would enjoy now i actually can get a hold of them right now because they're sold on makeup revolution uh, because makeup revolution bought bh cosmetics in case you you did not uh, know that and then when I saw them, I was able to buy them and I was like, no, I'm good. There's just, no, no. And I do like quads, but yeah, at the end of the day, the color stories that I like are the neutrally ones, which I also have in my collection. So, and then also combine that with the fact that it was not really a good BH Cosmetics formula. What I understood from a lot of people, I'm like, no, thank you. I'm glad I didn't pick it up. The next one is from Nimia, and that is Nikki Tutorials brand. And this is the eyeshadow palette. Well, I could actually mention anything from Nimia, but I took a, a picture of the eyeshadow palette. So in the new makeup releases, when I saw the palette, I said that I, I thought it looked very much like a Dutch palette. It gives me Dutch vibes. What can I say? Why? Because there's an orange in here and a red, a blue and a white. That's basically that's it the outer packaging is also orange so i could see the dutch theme at least for me in there the rest of her brand when i heard that she was coming out with an with a makeup brand i was interested when i saw the products i was like no nah, it's not really my vibe so i'm glad that i that i didn't purchase anything and same with this eyeshadow palette it's just when i saw it i was i was thinking about buying it uh and i'm actually very glad that i didn't because looking looking again at the color story at the swatches it's just not something that i would enjoy 
I know that I would have filmed with this and then never touched it again and then I would have decluttered it because of how the color story is looking. So yeah, I'm happy that I did not spend my money on that. The next thing that I'm going to mention is from Urban Decay and it's the She-Hulk collection. When I saw this, I was like, it actually looks quite cute. Now I saw the She-Hulk series and I really, really enjoyed it. And I can see where they were going with the color stories. So I did think seriously about picking this up. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't because it's just, I don't know, the promo pictures make it look way cooler than it is. Honestly, though, if they would have done just the, the greeny neutrally side, I probably would have. Um, but the other side with the colors and again, that, that stupid blue, it's just, no, no, I'm happy that I didn't, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't pick it up. Next is here. But I kind of have a side note. So next I'm going to mention the Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection. Um, I think I can, or at least I could get things here through Monolith. I was actually going to pick up stuff from the collection. Uh, the reason that I ended up not doing it because the shipping was extremely high. And I usually don't mind it for smaller indie brands. But let's face it, Glam Light is not a small indie brand anymore. And the shipping was, I think, 35 bucks. And then I also had to pay VAT because VAT wasn't included. And then I was like, yeah, this ain't worth it for me. So that's the reason that I didn't pick it up. Combine that with the fact that I actually don't really like Glam Light's formula. I was like, yeah, with that shipping and then me not knowing if I am probably not really going to enjoy the formula. I was like, no, I'm going to skip. So I was very, very happy that I didn't pick it up. Unfortunately, uh, my friend Katie from Makeup for Lost Time, she mentioned she also doesn't like the regular Glam Light formula. And she mentioned that these were actually very, very good. And now I'm like, damn, I kind of wish I had picked it up because I really do love the aesthetic of this. So there is that. So you get a twofer from me. Um, yeah, what can I say? I love the way that this is looking and knowing how the shadows kind of are performing now. I know that people who love Glam Light's formula don't love this formula, but I don't love Glam Light's formula. So I'll probably do like this one. Never mind. The next one I'm going to talk about is from Martina Cosmetics. And it was her holiday release from uh, the end of last year, their Skeet palette. I thought about getting this because of the fact that it's Martina Cosmetics. And I know I love the formula. However, I also was very realistic with myself on this one. And I looked at the color story and I was like, this is just not a color story that I am going to enjoy using. Uh, I actually decluttered her diner palette. I love the formula, but I it's just not my color story. And it's the same with this. And this year I kind of want to buy makeup that will not only do well on my channel, but I also want to use myself more than just for the video. Unless it's an extremely hyped eyeshadow palette or product. If that makes any sense at all. So yeah, I am, I'm actually happy that I just decided to not pick this up. Because I just know that I would have filmed with this. And after that, I would have decluttered it next at the end of this year. Because it's just not something that I would want to use. Next, I'm going to go to Besame Cosmetics and their limited edition Victoria Spider Compact. I remember when this released for the first time, I almost bought it. I almost bought it, but, but it was so expensive. And I was like, I just cannot do it. I just cannot do it. But every time I see this component, I'm like, I need it. I need it. I have five tarantulas in my house. I love spiders. I have spider tattoo. It's just this, this, this needs to be here in my house one day. However, at the end of the day, for me, it's the compact. Because what I heard that I, I saw Teresa's video with this, the sun and I think it was the moon highlighter that they had there. The embossing was so stunning, but it was not an embossing. It was an overspray. Or was it? A plasticky. I think it was an overspray. And I was just like, no. I'm happy I didn't pick it up. Also, when it came around again last year, I was like, do I pick it up? And I was like, no, because the product is not going to be good. So you're just paying 100 bucks for a very, very fancy compact. And let's face it, I can probably make something like this myself as well. If I am, you know, have stuff. It is still a compact that triggers me because of the way that it is looking. But I'm very, very happy that I didn't pick it up. Then I'm going to go to Natasha Denona and her um, My Dream Eyeshadow Palette. This eyeshadow palette 
when when I see the outside of the palette, I really, really like it. And then when I see the color story, I'm like, hey, it's more along the lines of basically a rosy berry color story. And it's just not what I use. Also, the mattes that are in here, I think for me, are too pink leaning. And that means that on my particular skin tone, it looks like I have been dead for 10 years which is sometimes the look i'm going for but usually it isn't so at the end of the day i am very happy that i could be true to myself and just say listen you know this color story will just not look good on you and i didn't purchase it so yeah if you are a light if you are a warmish olive and you have this one let me know but looking at the looking at the shadows looking at the swatches it's just not colors that will look flattering on me um, next i'm going to go to something that is kind of that's the last thing that i'm going to mention it's kind of polarizing because on the one hand i i'm saying to myself i never would have bought this because I think it's gross. But on the other hand, I was seriously considering seeing if I could pick this up for... Because it would make, I think, a hilarious video. At the end of the day, though, I'm happy that I didn't. And this is from... Um, who was this again? Oscar Mayer and... Uh, Sale Mamas. It was the Bologna Hydrogel Sheet Face Mask. This looks gross. This looks gross. But I was kind of considering it because I thought it would make a very, very good video. Knowing myself, I would have got this in. I would have opened up the package and I would probably be so nauseated by how this is looking. I saw Teresa's video on it. By with how this was looking and how it would probably feel on the skin that I am very happy that I didn't buy it. Because knowing me, I would not have... I would not have used it because it would just be too gross and I could, ugh, couldn't get over that feeling basically. So yeah, it just, I, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. It had shock value, but no, I'm very, very happy that I did not buy that one because I would have thrown it in the trash and it would just have been a, a waste of money. And then that was it. That was it for today's video. Uh, let me know if this was enjoyable. Let me know if you have any palettes that you do not regret not picking up or any other makeup that you do not regret not buying let me know down below in the comment section and i probably have more of this i probably also have i don't know foundations or something like that but this was what i can basically find what i can do though is every time i see something pop up on instagram and i think about it i can put it in a folder like this because we can do more of these if you enjoy these at least so let me know down below if that would be of interest and then this is going to be it if you're still here leave me i almost want to say leave me a, 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 a meat emoji but i don't eat meat so let's not do that let's do let's do a critter emoji because we talked about spider and 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 all that so kind of still halloween mode so let me leave a critter and then yeah thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i am going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.